today we will speak about two rare conditions. For me, they are case reports. They are atypical cases. Met with rarely, for me, this is the first time to see these cases. The first case is a female patient, aged 39 years, suffering from dysphagia and throat discomfort of long duration and the progressive course. What is this condition? This patient gave a history of prolonged immunotherapy for an immunological disease in the gastrointestinal tract that needed partial resection of the stomach and ileum. What have we found during examination or, or by examination of this patient? As in the following video, the, there is a granulomatous lesion in the region of the left vocal, in the left arytenoid cartilage, extending anteriorly to involve the left ventricular band, left laryngeal ventricle, till the left aryepiglottic fold and extending anteriorly to involve or to reach the laryngeal surface of the epiglots. Is there any relation between the present laryngeal picture and the intestinal disease and the prolonged immunological intestinal disease? Can the larynx be affected by the longer course of this immunological disease? As we found in the previous video, there will be the next three pictures explaining what we have found. These pictures, there is a granulomatous lesion having a mammillary surface in the region of the or involving the left arytenoid cartilage and extending anteriorly. It seems to be a granulomatous lesion. Can this granulomatous lesion can be related to the disease in the intestine that needed partial resection of the stomach and the ileum because it produces constrictions? And are we afraid that this patient may have the same when it's directions later on in the upper aerodigestive tract. So this is a case of involvement of the larynx in the same disease, coronary disease, producing a granulomatous lesion that may lead to when directions that may threaten the respiration or, the, or may produce dysphagia. What is Crohn's disease? Crohn's disease is a chronic inflammatory bowel disease that should be considered a multi-systemic disease due to extra intestinal manifestations found in 25% of patients. So laryngeal manifestations may be involved in chronic inflammatory immunological disease, which is Crohn's disease. Laryngeal involvement is very uncommon, and the lesions in the hypopharynx and the larynx are edema, ulceration, and the granulation tissue. The end result is constrictions. Symptoms are odynophagia, dysphonia, dysphagia, and airway constrictions or restrictions. Laryngeal manifestations of Crohn's disease are usually successfully treated with steroids.